Welcome back, everybody. So today we are going to do something with my Brassolalia, Brassolalia, Brassavola cucolata. I've had her, I think, since October. I've had her for a few months. All she's done since I've, and I get it, they're slow growers. She did this growth right here, and it's just not moving, but I did notice some roots in the pot, and I did a little research on her, and I think I'm keeping her too wet. Like my Brassavola little stars, I'm pretty sure she will prefer a more wet, dry cycle than what she's getting. So I'm going to take her out of this, especially now that I see roots with root tips. And when I take it out, I'm going to be really careful with that one right there because it's just barely coming through that little slat there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her in this basket here. I've put a, oh my goodness, what is this? A clay saucer in the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the rest with moss to keep the media from falling out and hopefully the moss will help incur you know keep like the humidity up but i'm going to use large bark and i've already wet it so i don't have to water her after i do this i've already wet it and put the large bark in here i'm gonna put her back in the east facing window where she normally is and where she's been so i'm not changing the light or anything but i'm gonna see if she does it a little bit better i probably should wait until spring to do this but as you see this pot is is breaking Every time I'd go to pick it up, I'd hear it crack. So let me just get her out of, let me get most of the media out. And nice roots in here. Let's see if I can get that one to come in. There we go. Make sure there's no others trying to come out. And then I'm just going to shake her out if I can without damaging anything. But do you see all the moss I have in there? And I think that's part of what is wrong with her. And there's a lot of, um, perlite in here and the bark I did have in here is already breaking down just because I think there again was just too much moss and she was just she's staying too wet I believe so I'm going to put her in a setup where she can get that wet dry cycle and yeah there's some dead roots lots of dead roots in here actually um, oh goodness I mean this thing is still sopping wet oh goodness I hope I haven't ruined her. But I'm assuming with the new root tips growing, that is a good sign. So I'm not gonna try to get too much of this off. I'll let on here, if it stays, I'm not gonna force it off, but I will get as much off as I can. And that one is completely gone, as is that one. All right, let me grab my, my Fiskars real quick. Just uh, set them there. There we go. But as you can see, she does have some nice roots coming here and here but I don't see any new growth at all so that might be part of a le problem too all right let's cut off the ones that are no longer any good and then get her in this set up and I do have the hanger for it right here I'll put that on after I get done though I'll do that off camera be very careful these teeny tiny roots. Again, I love my Fiskars for this very reason right here, for little tiny root systems where you're trying to get into a little tiny spot. But I think I see a new growth. Oh, can you see it? Let me see if I can get it, folks. Do you see it right there by my finger? It's like right there by my finger now. I don't know if you can see that, if it's in focus or not, but that does look like a new, new growth either a new growth or a new root. And I'm not gonna go rinse her off. I'm just gonna leave whatever media is on here because she will be in a much more airy, dry media, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, well, that is all we're gonna do to her on that end. Let me just set that off to the side, lay her down real quick. And let's line our basket with our moss. Let me just fluff it up a little bit so it's easy to get. And I'm not gonna do, I mean, well, I'm gonna try not to do too much of a, a layer. I'm putting it mainly on the corners so it doesn't really fall through. That's why I put the saucer in the middle because I didn't want to put too much moss in here. I didn't want it dropping on the orchids underneath. And plus the saucer will also help with weighing, her, weighing this basket in the window down a little bit so she doesn't swing too much. So she seems to like the light from the east facing window because she did grow that that growth I showed you guys earlier right shortly after I got her and I put her in that window so 
she's getting light. I don't know if she's getting enough light to bloom. I'm not worried about her blooming right now. I just need her to develop some growth. If I happen to see that she's trying to bloom or after I've had her for a little bit with a lot of growth and she's not blooming, then I'll increase the light. But for now, I just, I just want her to grow. Just need her to be happy. All right, I think that's enough moss. Let's put some bark in there. Because right. I don't want the saucer to dry the roots out. There we go. Oh, let's see how this is going to work. And I know she looks ridiculous in here right now, and she's going to look ridiculous for a little bit until she grows into it. But she is a sprawler, so I, once she kind of gets herself all settled in, I think she'll be all right. I think she'll look okay in here. But for now, she's just going to look a little overpotted. So, and then also with the air around the sides of this pot that will also help with the quick dry cycle as well. At least that's my thought. I know I also read that they do well mounted, but I really don't want to mount her right now. I want her to stay in that window. Like I said, she's like she's enjoying that light. That's where she developed that first growth. So that is where I want to keep her. And I want to see if I get some action by giving her a more wet dry cycle with this. All right, well, that doesn't look too bad. I do have some moss trying to come out the bottom there, but it'll settle itself in. That was quick, fast, and easy. So there is the Brassavola cucolata, looking ridiculous in this huge pot. But I believe this is also going to help her out. Let me put a piece of bark right here to help stabilize her just a wee bit, because she will eventually lay over, because they are droopers. So there we are. All right, well, if you guys have the Brassavola cucolata, and if you have any tips on how I can get her to grow some more growths or if you feel like this is going to work for her um, any feedback and thoughts you have would be appreciated in the comments down below as well as if you go ahead and give this video a like if it gave you any value and i will see you guys on the next one thanks for coming by